So of all the people we've seen weigh in on Ukraine, maybe none has put the American position more succinctly or expressed it more wisely than a man called Bryce Mitchell. We played a portion of his comments on this show yesterday. Bryce Mitchell is a cattle farmer from Arkansas. He's also a fairly well-known UFC fighter. Last week, he was asked, what do you think about Ukraine? And here's part of what he said. I'm not going nowhere to fight none of these wars for these politicians. I'm staying at home, and when the war comes to Arkansas, I will dig my boots in the ground, and I will die for everything I love, and I will not retreat. If this country's invaded, and everybody's saying, well, we got to we gotta evacuate, we got to leave, we gotta, I will not. I will dig my boots in the Arkansas soil, and I will fight for the people that I love, for the land that I love, and the way of life that I love. But I'm not going overseas to fight. I don't know what's going on. A lot of people you see on TV would leave instantly if we were invaded. There's been polling on it. It shows it pretty clearly. You should pay attention to the people who wouldn't leave, who'd fight for their country and for their people, the ones they love. Bryce Mitchell's obviously in that category. He won his fight on Saturday, we should tell you. He promised to give half the purse to a charity in Arkansas to help children with medical conditions. We are honored to have Bryce Mitchell join us tonight. Bryce, thanks so much for coming on and for what you said. Um, I, I haven't seen anybody express it better than you did. Why did you say that? Well, thank you so much for having me, brother. And I said that because that's the first thing that I thought when he asked me, and I was trying to give him the best answer that I could, and that's just my genuine thoughts on the subject. How do you get to be so honest when everyone, everyone else is afraid to say what they think, and you just kind of say it? Well, I don't have to be uh, worried about being fired from my job for saying what I want to say. There's a lot of people out there that do agree with me, but they can't say things that I get to say even though they think them. They'll get fired from their job if they come out and say it. That Dana is, that White's is, pretty good with how he lets us uh, talk and say what we want. That is, that is absolutely right and a fair thing to say. Now, people who say what you have said are often denounced as unpatriotic or traitors to their country. Does that confuse you? Since the first thing you said was, I will fight and die for Arkansas. That'd be the greatest honor I could ever have, brother. So I'm, I'm far from uh, not being a patriot. You know, that'd be the greatest thing I could do is die defending this land. So I'm not afraid to do that. I'm just not wanting to go waste my life fighting for some of these battles that I don't even believe in. I, if, uh, you know, our, our, I believe our leaders, a lot of these elites are guilty of treason. What they've done is just uh, treasonous. And, you know, and, and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about a little bit. It, it's, it's funny that they're accusing you of treason. Um, wh why do you think almost everyone in the media, and I mean almost everybody, and both political parties, and of course the White House, are all on the same page that you need to get behind this war with Russia? Why is that so important to them? Do you have any sense? Well, I don't exactly know what their agenda is with the whole war on Russia, but I do know that... Um, all that money that's going to the Biden family through Hunter Biden, um, he's not, he doesn't have the merit for that position he's got over there. They've used our tax dollars to bribe him a job, you know. Um, if me or you did what Nancy Pelosi did and got millions in stocks, we'd go to prison for insider trading. But she does it, and, and she's filthy rich. So these, their families are getting um, very greatly compensated while they're taxing us to death. Inflation's higher than ever. They closed down all of our pipelines and wonder why the price of oil uh, has, has gone through the roof. Uh, these people are trying to destroy our country because they are profiting off the downfall of our country. And if y'all don't see what's going on, you are blinded every day. Um, you know, our inflation gets worse. Our debt gets worse. Um, our, our actual currency is controlled by a small group called the Federal Reserve that ain't federal and ain't a reserve. So it's, uh, it's insidious in nature. It's made to control. We, we have a lot of problems, and it's going to take a lot of things uh, to fix it. It's amazing. It's amazing what you're saying, uh, all of which is, in my view, true. So for our viewers who aren't familiar with you, because we were so struck by that clip, uh, that we played last night and part of it tonight. We wanted, we got another clip. This is you training at your ranch in Arkansas. We're gonna play it. I'm training here all the time when nobody's looking. I got a log out there that I curl and then I lift it over my head and then I run in a circle and then I'll fill up the wheelbarrow with dirt and push it around. 
number one reason I won't go to a big gym is because of the secrecy. Your plans need to be dark as night. So that's where you live. So, I mean, I, I think it's fair to say you're pretty, you're pretty rooted in the ground of this country. Well, this country is made up of, uh, you know, small businesses and, and people like myself that are anything from rich, you know, but um, that work hard every day and have goals. And that's that and that's what this this whole thing is attacking. It's attacking the small business, the uh, the mom and pa shops, you know, they're paying the consequences. All this uh, covid stuff, it's killed small businesses. What they're doing, they're giving bailouts to the big businesses and. In Arkansas, they shut down businesses for three or four months, however long it was. They wouldn't let us open up our gyms and this and that. And uh, we're tired of this politics crap that's going on. It's a, it's evil is what's going on. Evil has took over this nation, and we ain't afraid of it. And we're ready to fight. I I, I think you're exactly right in your assessment. Tell me about since that clip of you saying that at the press conference has spread so widely. I've, Twenty people have sent it to me. What do your friends and neighbors in Arkansas say to you? Do they agree with you? I've had people coming out the woodwork just supporting me, and uh, then they've been telling me also, you know, you need to load your guns up because somebody's going to come out there and try to take you out for what you're saying. And that, that's, how, that's how worried people are about the state of their country. My friends think that my life is... Uh, could be at risk because I'm coming out here and speaking truth. You know, I have people saying, hey, load your guns up, be ready, so, you know, and that's just, I'm just telling you, that's what people are telling me right now. You know, yeah. they, they are worried about my health because I'm coming out and speaking the truth. That's the type of suppression and oppression that we're living in, brother. People are worried yeah. about it. Well, you hate to think that's true, but I, I, I know where they're coming from. There's a lot of malice out there. I think you speak for many people, and I'm really glad you were brave enough to say that. Bryce Mitchell, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, brother. God bless you. I love it. God bless you. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.